Hi, welcome. This is Scott Wells again. Uh, you are on lab number 10. Lab number 10 is session hijacking with Cookie Cadger. Uh, for those of you that don't know what the term Cadger means, I had to look it up myself and what it basically means is someone that borrows without the intent to repay. So mooching. Um, we all have friends like that. So this, this lab basically we're going to be stealing a cookie just like we did before. Session hijacking like we did in the previous lab, lab number nine, where I kind of walked you through all of the steps of a session hijack. What we're doing in this lab is I'm showing you a really quick shortcut. The reason I want to include this lab in, in the series of labs is that I want you to realize that it's not just a group of Chinese hackers in some basement, uh, some government sponsored entity that are able to hack and break into different entities. And it's ridiculously simple. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. You don't have to have a PhD in mathematics um, in order to do this type of session hijack. It's, it's ridiculously simple. So what I've done for you is with the prerequisites for this lab, with the setup for this lab, um, you should have currently on your machine, on your SMSP machine, and this is the certified course lab number 10, uh, what you should have is you should have two virtual machines, both running a virtual box. Now, I've got my client workstation, which is the machine in white. I've got my um, attacking machine, which is the machine in black. And what we're going to do is I'm going to launch a browser, just like we did before in the previous lab. I'm going to launch a browser. I'm going to navigate to Facebook. That's going to generate a session cookie for me. Now, what I'm going to do is on the attacking machine, I'm going to launch one application and tell it to go ahead and hijack it. I don't have to go in and monitor traffic, not three different applications. It's so ridiculously simple. Let me just walk you through it. So the first step is let's go over to the, the workstation or the victim machine. I'm going to launch an instance of Firefox. I'm going to navigate to Facebook. Of course, I'm only going to use three W's. It's going to ask me to log on. Now, I've cached the password because I'm lazy. And we're going to go ahead and log on. I'm logged on as Tamara Richards. This is my actor pretty much through most of the, the course itself. So I'm going to click around just to show you that we're generating some activity. And, and we're good, right? Now, the next thing we're going to do is I don't want to talk to any of her friends. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the attacking machine. Now, the attacking machine is a separate machine. You could be sitting in Starbucks. Uh, Tamara Richards is, launches her browser. She goes in and she's navigating through Facebook. She's on Twitter. She's on any one of the social media platforms. I'm on my other machine, my attacking machine. I've got a copy of Linux running on it. I'm on the same physical network as her. And I launch an instance of Cookie Cadger. Now it's going to say, are you sure you want to enable session detection? Because this is, you, there's some legal issues as far as doing this. Um, you're basically stealing her session, which is illegal. So we're doing this in the premise of academia so we understand that I can turn this off or I can stop people from doing it. So we're going to go ahead and say yes. We're going to launch it. Now this interface, it's a ridiculously simple interface. It's, it's fine-tuned to what it does. It does one thing. It does session hijacking. It's capturing cookies. So on this scenario, I've got different interfaces. So we're going to choose the appropriate network interface, which is Ethernet 1 in my scenario. And what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and start the capture. Now this really does the same thing that Ettercap did. It's also doing the same thing as Wireshark did. Then it's the next step after we do this, it's going to actually capture the cookie. And then I'm going to do the same thing as cookie injection, which we did with the grease monkey in the previous lab. So I've started the capture. Now I'm going to go back over to my client. We're going to generate some activity. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you notice that you see on cookie catcher, you should see her Mac address up here. Now, just because I want to make sure that I capture the session cookie, I'm going to let that run for a couple seconds. I'm going to go through and carry out some activity. I'm going to look at some friends. Oh gosh, maybe I'm going to go out with the girls later. Maybe I'm going to uh, buy some Jimmy Choo shoes while I'm up here. Um, so just generate some activity. Pretending I'm Tamara Richards. Now, I, I just went in to edit her profile so that way I guarantee that I have a distinct log on and I'm using that session cookie and it's being passed across. So pretty much anything she's clicking on 
is going to pass our session token or our session cookie. So now I'm going to leave the client. I'm going to come back over to Cookie Casual. This is my attacking machine again. So I click on the attacking machine, and these are all the different domains that she actually went to. Now she just went to Facebook. Underneath the covers, as she's clicking on different components, you should see that it's taking her to different sites. There's um, some marketing sites, and everything that you see in Facebook is is modularized. So these are all different sites that are under the Facebook umbrella. So we're gonna click on Facebook. Now, if you take a look, this is really very similar to Wireshark that you saw in the previous lab. You should see a lot of activity. You should see the domain. You should see the cookie information. Remember the data, D-A-T-R, that we used to filter in the previous lab? All of that's in there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and choose load domain. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna launch a browser. It's gonna inject the cookie into the browser. It's gonna to navigate to the same website that I told to go ahead and hijack. And you notice it's going to Facebook right now. You should see that it's inserting the cookie. And boom, I'm logged on as her. So what I did was I did all of the steps, all 20 steps of the previous lab in one click. I launched Cookie Cadger, I went through, I told it who I wanted. I really didn't tell who I want. Anybody that's on the network. So I went and I clicked on the target victim that I wanted. I told it to navigate to an appropriate domain that I clicked on and said load the domain cookie. And what it did was it did that for me. So I am currently logged on as Tamara. So that should conclude module to our lab number 10. I wanted to lay this one out for you and now it's your turn. So go through the same steps I did. You should have the same software. Hopefully you have the same results. Good luck.